Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to access your branch of your GitHub repo at different URLs using Nellify. And this is useful in the scenario where you have a production branch, which is what the users will see, and a development branch, which is what the developer will use to make their changes. Once they have made their changes, they can preview their new changes at a different link that will not affect the production. And so to begin, you would just need to upload your website to Netlify, and by default, it will upload to production branch to Netlify. So if I click on this URL, this is what I would see, and I just typed in production branch to make sure I know this is the production branch that is uploaded. Once you guys have uploaded your websites, go ahead and go to deploy, the deploy tab, and go to deploy settings. Once you, once you get to this page, go ahead and scroll down to deploy contexts and click edit settings. And here by default, the none option will be uh, selected, which deploys only to production branch. Go ahead and switch it to the all setting. That way it deploys all the branches that are pushed to the repository. And click save. Once you have done that, go ahead and just make a development branch for the repo that you're trying to push. And, make, and just go ahead and make a change. That way Netlify will pick it up. So in this case, I'm just changing the title of the page and I'm making sure I'm committing to the development branch. And I'm just gonna go ahead and click commit and then, and then push the change to GitHub. Once I've done that, you should see the deployment branch being updated here in deploy settings. And so I just have to refresh the page, but as you can see, my development branch um, has now been deployed. And now all you have to do to access this page is to go to the, your, the original URL here, but just add the branch name here followed by two dashes. So in my case, my branch was called development and I just added two dashes. And now when I click enter, you can see now that this is a development branch, whereas the original URL is the production branch. So if this tutorial helped you in any way, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe.